Animating cameras in Cinema 4D can be quite straightforward or it can be quite complex depending on the type of animation you create. Let's start with a simple one. So if I have my camera here and if I look through the perspective of the camera, so I'm inside the camera now, and let me just check when the bike starts moving actually. So if I select the bike, I can see that it starts moving on the 10th frame. So I'm gonna move my playhead there with the shift key so it snaps. I'll then select my camera and I'll also keyframe the camera's position and the rotation. So for that, I'm going to turn off the scale property here as well as the parameter property. So that means now when I press F9 or click on this key button here, that's going to record the position and the rotation of my camera. So if I do that, and if I then select my bike again to find out when it stops moving, so if I click and drag this, that's on 250. I'll then select my camera and then zoom back out and maybe find that bike again. There it is. So if I hold down one, bring this closer to us here, like that. And if I go and keyframe my camera again, you see if I play this back now from the beginning, it's going to make the camera move from left to right to follow the bike as it travels. Let's now go and change the final position of the camera. So I'm going to go in to my keyframe by holding down shift. I'll then move my camera around the bike, maybe around about here, and zoom into the spotlight maybe there. I'll then re-keyframe it, and if I rewind and play again, you see as the camera moves from left to right to follow the bike, it also flies around so that it ends up in front of the bike where the spotlight is. Then I'll stop the playback. If I come out of the camera's perspective, I can actually see the path that the camera is following when it follows the bike. So if I go here and play it, have a look, this is the path that the camera follows as it goes from point A to point B. I don't know if you noticed, but if you look at the path that the camera is following, it isn't quite straight. In the next tutorial, we'll have a look at creating a spline and then using that spline as the path of the camera.